I don't know. It's just different to get injections. I just, I, I think it's better, you know, if you would decide to use your own fat. Like, it's funny because I don't have an ass, right? And I be saying, I ain't got no ass. But with me not having an ass. Say, for instance, I decide, you know what, fuck this. I'm going to dress like a woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with the stud shit. I want to be a woman, right? And I go get ass shots. <laughs> Because I want some ass. I'm not doing that. But if I had the option to take this inner tube off me. This tire off me. And put it in my ass. I'm going to do that. I think that that would be better. You know what I'm saying? I know it may sound crazy and a little contradictive to people. But I don't know. What y'all think? Let me know what y'all think. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch Wait, let me talk my shit Let me tell you about this bitch, see I was really trying to eat the pussy But she nervous What was the purpose? I thought you fuck with girls then, see That's when I ran into my baby Nick Now, nah, need to turn my ass to a real fucking freak yeah. What? Stop Stop Don't do me like that I need y'all to go just subscribe to It's Evie They have 495 subscribers And do vlogs, pranks, story times, motivational speeches um, they upload two times a week doing a cash app giveaway once they reach 500 subscribers. They're fun, caring, love helping people shy a little bit in the process of learning more and how to do things on the tube. You get what I'm saying? I need y'all to go subscribe to my people. She, uh, is at 495 subscribers. Let's go ahead and get her to a thousand. But shit, since she's doing a giveaway of 500, let's get her, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it popping for you. You get what I'm saying, people? Let's show us some of this royal gang love, you heard? And uh, that's it. I love y'all. Enjoy this freaking video. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the hoes. And do that! Back with another freaking video. We are reacting to mukbang thoughts on Claire's DMs. Aisha Curry. Good topic. And Queen's new body. Yay. I just want to hear Clarence say he's going to get them cheeks. They probably already did it. Y'all know they nasty as hell. But I, right, y'all, hopefully my screen recording ain't acting up. Now, let's get it. What's up, Queen family? It's your girl, Queen. It's your boy, Clarence. And we are back with another folio month. I know y'all missed us. I know you guys have missed us on the Royal Family channel. He's been working on his channel. We miss you guys, too. Um, I. I only uploaded a couple videos on my channel about like my, my surgery and stuff. Um, but we have not done a royal family video. So we decided to take this time with the wonderful food that we got from Bossa Nova Grill. Bossa Nova Grill. In Hollywood, you guys. Um, what you got to eat over there? I got the lemon garlic chicken Dang. with fried plantains, Ugh. rice, and beans. I got the same thing, but just steak instead. Yeah, it looked good. Oh, only thing is, I'm disappointed because I thought we was going to have the other plantain. The, the, um, she liked the hard ones. The hard fried bananas. Y'all, y'all have to excuse my hair. Look at it. Y'all got to excuse my hair. My hair been like acting up ever since Clarence went to freaking mess my hair up. But anyway, <laughs> <Told> <laughs> that's tea. Um, <laughs> So just like a little update on life. On life. We haven't been home in forever. We we came to LA when? We've been in LA for a month. We've been in LA for like a whole month, you guys. I have to really ignore my hair. Don't even think about my hair. Don't look at it. Just pretend I'm bald. <laughs> he kills me when he make that face. It be like, and then he'll laugh like, <laughs> be like a loud ass <laughs> laugh. That nigga great. Okay, pretend I'm bought him, okay? He didn't <laughs> laugh. Kick him! <laughs> Your ball head is a little scary. Really? Yeah. Okay, well. I think she'll be fine. I'm gonna have to get used to it because I'm shaving my hair tomorrow. Please don't. Um, everybody know I got a tummy tuck in the video. Um, that shit look good as Everybody head. is saying, well, a lot of people, I got a lot of good feedback. Like, a lot of people are happy for me. Um, I'm happy that I'm like recuperating well. We did get a lot of good feedback. I got a lot of good feedback, so I'm not even gonna focus on the negative. You had those people that were like, oh, you don't love yourself and all that stuff. And now you just like the rest of the girls and this and that. I really don't, honestly, I don't care. 
and what people say. Um, After a while, that shit just really don't matter. You have certain times you like, God damn. Ah. Ooh, why she say that? <laughs> but other than that, it'd be like, I'm not about to lose no sleep, child. If you if you can't take me for who I am, you just can't have me. You just can't have me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. I don't feel like it, it makes me have any like more self-love. I already love my... I love the person I am, but you can still have like insecurities and stuff like that. And, like, Everybody has insecurities. And if you want to change them, then that's up to you. I'm not forcing no gun to nobody here to go get surgery. I'm not trying to encourage it. Or discourage it from, I, I don't judge, period. But I had a mom belly and I wanted to get rid of it. It was just a decision that you made. I think like people get so stuck on like, that's one thing I don't like about social media. And that's one thing I can respect you for. It's like always being real. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I know this, even if like, you're like the most beautiful or most handsome, like you still have, have insecurities. Kind of insecurity. like, and if we were able to change these insecurities, I think everybody, everybody would. would. You know what I mean? If you, I feel like they're just saying if you, you know, if you can afford to do it, especially because this we're not about to act like this shit is free. You know what I'm saying? We're not about to act like this shit is free. This shit ain't free. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like if everybody could afford the shit, they would do the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people get money and do it, you know? They're like, God damn, boy, I ain't, I ain't been feeling this nose since I was born. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just go ahead and replace that thing when they get some money. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. People going to be people. They're going to do what they do. Yeah. Not only with just body changing, we can change how, like... Our nose is. Yeah, like, our, 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 the size of our nose, our, the, the, the amount of hair we have on our eyebrows, the... You know what yeah. I'm saying? If you could be taller or if you Girls wanted to be smaller. Like, lashes and all that stuff all the time. A lot of people could be is taller. That, is that you know a lack of stuff? Just, Boy, if they can make you taller, that's crazy. That's crazy as hell. I don't think that can happen. But listen, he said it. I didn't say it. If they can make you taller, that's crazy. No. I don't think she did. I'm trolling. Obviously, he said people who are taller might want to be shorter. Look at you. You was ready to blast me. This is terrible. Just joking. I love her, so I think she didn't like a part of her body, and she wants. She's been dying to <laughs> change since I've met her. You know yeah. what I mean? Since and then I had it. another kid. A few people I've seen said that Clarence forced me to get surgery, which is very funny because he said if it was up to him, I was fine the way I was. But honestly, yeah, if, if I had it, <coughs> it's the breeze. <laughs> but yeah, if it was, I feel like if it was like up to me, honestly, I would have told you not mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Just because you know how scared I was. You yeah. know how like nervous was, I was. He was nervous. And it's like, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and be like, like you know, I just, again, I've, I've talked to girls with the, that had their body done, but I've never seen them in that way. Mm -hmm. Girls that, you know what I mean? I've never seen them. Go through the process of it. No, I've no, never, never seen been them in love way. with them. Like, what you mean? Like, oh, like I want, I want that. I, I would marry her. Right. Or like, just because she oh. has a body, you know what I'm saying? I've never been like that, you know what I'm saying? I've always been like, I like, you know, natural kind of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, I do, on the flip side, I do like, know what she goes through and I know how she feels sometimes when she gets frustrated I can't wear this so she can't wear that I feel like you did more like just enhancing than like doing yeah that. I didn't she took fat from her body and put it in another place on her body definitely was an enhancement because I mean obviously if you get some injections or shit like that it's it, it's an enhancement but I don't know it's just different to get injections I just I, I think it's better, you know, if you would decide to use your own fat. Like, it's funny because I don't have an ass, right? And I'll be saying, I ain't got no ass. But with me not having an ass. And say, for instance, I decide, you know what, fuck this. I'm going to dress like a woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with the stud shit. I want to be a woman, right? And I go get ass shots. Because <laughs> I want some ass. I'm not doing that. But 
if I had the option to take this inner tube off me, this tire off me, and put it in my ass, I'm going to do that. I think that that would be better. You know what I'm saying? I know it may sound crazy and a little contradictive to people, but I don't know. What y'all think? Let me know what y'all think. Doing your body. She ain't put, I didn't work myself into a new person. She didn't person. put no plastic in her body. She ain't put no I silicone. put my own fat into a different part. She ain't do her boobs. She ain't do her butt. She ain't do her, like y'all saying, she took the, 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 the skin that was... The fat baby. The fat, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The skin right here. Yeah, oh yeah, like that wrinkly away. And she had a hernia and fibrosis, right? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so I so it, that's like, they had to go in there to get rid of that anyway. Yeah, it so wasn't, I get rid it of wasn't it. only like for the visual too. Like she had to take that out eventually, no matter what you say. Like she had a hernia which was sticking out her stomach, and she had fibrosis that was very hard. Like if you yeah. feel it, it was very hard. So she had to get rid of that anyway. They would have to cut me open anyway. So why not just go ahead and? Know what I'm saying? Get and then people would be like, well, you should have just took the hernia out and you should have just took the fibrosis out and then you could have left the right like, <laughs> You know what? I could have one of them shits because I just can't get rid of this. You know what I'm saying? It's terrible. I don't know. I don't be trying. But, um, yeah, like sometimes I've heard of people, though, they thought they was fat, but they had big ass, um, I don't know if it's fibroids. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. They like rocks, though, like. It's big for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And that's what she talking about. That's what she had to get rid of. You know? And that's exactly what I said. We might as well do everything at the like, you know same time. You don't want to get cut over. Like, you know what I'm saying? She, and she, she has two kids. That's two C-sections. <coughs> two times she gets cut open. You know what I'm saying? So why get cut open again? Yeah, and then again. And then again. Like, you know what I mean? How do you feel on the flip side, though? Like, I think you look amazing. <coughs> Honestly, I think your body looks great. That makes me happy. It do. I, I, as long as like things like maintain, like you maintain it, and like I really don't care. It's you're a grown woman. Facts. I don't know tell you what to do with like your life or your body. Like I think that that would be very yeah. selfish. Facts. Yeah. That's why you tell me not to go get tatted. So. Claire was laughing at me because I was like, I want to start a fitness journey now. <laughs> he was like, girls always trying to do that, but she gonna have to. Just cause like I don't want to get this and then get it for no reason. Like I kind of like. I feel mo no, babe. Honestly, I feel motivated no, I to keep my body together. I was just saying, I see a lot of girls doing that. They just get their body done and, and they start working out. No, but they don't have a choice. You you have to work that shit out because it, can you imagine getting that surgery, going through all that pain, not being able to sit on your own ass for fucking six weeks or whatever, however long um, she has to go through this? You fuck around and get fat, oh. and. Decide you want to do it again? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, fuck that. See, the thing is, they don't tell people they got their body done. They be like, I got this done in the gym or whatever. Yeah. And that's, that's what, another thing I respect you for, though, too. Like you, she ain't lie. She came out and told everybody. That's why. Because she didn't have to. No lie, y'all. I was really thinking about keeping it a secret. Oh, I was like, should I just like. Queen, everybody would have noticed that peach. And Damien and Bianca, with Bianca, they tried to hide her in this, uh, uh, the breast, what's it called, implants. They tried to hide the fact that she had implants. But it was like, Bianca, yesterday, you ain't had them titties. Then suddenly, something happened on a plane. They was going through some crazy shit. Y'all know how dramatic they get. Then, um, suddenly, she had a nice rack. You know what I'm saying? It was like, where did titties come from? I don't even think they admitted it still. <laughs> I really don't know. I don't watch them like that no more. But yeah, there you go. So I just like just they they didn't want to tell nobody. People don't have a lot to say. But then and I know people why. People don't have a lot to say once they see the pictures of my hips. Right. And they're gonna be like, oh, uh, you're lying about something. Yeah. So like, why not? They would have said she got uh injections. I don't think you put that way. But. Babe, it's really hard to do a mukbang. Wow. Because we want to, I want to eat. <laughs> we are eating, eat, but we're not talking. Gonna be talking. To... We was talking about the whole Aisha Curry thing, how she said. Aisha Curry. Um, she felt, if you didn't see it, basically it was like she was on a red, the red table talk with Jada Pinkett. And she was basically saying how she felt 
correct me if I'm wrong, felt insta a little insecure because she didn't understand as a wife, like and a mom of Steph Curry, she she see a lot of women, you know, going after him, but in ten years she haven't seen no men like look at her away or try to holler at her. So before they say anything, first of all, I'm trying to figure out how to get into celebrity drama. Um, well, not even drama, just sh shit that happens. Everybody turns everything into drama anyway, uh, including myself. So <laughs> it's, it's like <laughs> topics, trending topics. Let's go there. And I just feel like I think men were respecting her. You know what I'm saying? She don't wear anything revealing. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like you see her on every damn occasion. You know what I'm saying? You see her. For a season, you know, for real, for real, at basketball games and shit like that. But it seemed like she would have been okay with men not being, you know what I'm saying, thirsty over her. Like, how do y'all feel about that, though, for real, for real? You got a husband, you know, you love him. I'm sure he loves you. Y'all have babies, blah, blah, blah. Living a good life, great life, by the way. And you like, I just feel like, you know... I don't understand why men don't talk to me. And it's just like, I don't get that. <laughs> like, you should want your husband to just look at you. You know what I'm saying? That's, I'm not saying you don't want nobody to look at you, but to holler at you, it's like, mm, I don't know. I, I felt like that was a bit much. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. In any kind of way. And so it made her look at herself and feel What is that? That, that should look like peanut butter. butter. I don't know. What did you do? I don't think that she meant it in like, a way that she wants it. Of course, the internet going, but the internet is going exaggerated facts. But <clears throat> I, that's probably something she shouldn't have said in public because it. I'm sure it came out the wrong way. But the perception of it is the issue. It looks like you would like to get hollered at, and I mean either deny him or talk to him. It's like you. It was open ended. You know what I'm saying? Except her mom is sitting right next to her. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think she meant that. Do, do you feel like your attractiveness is based on how many people try to talk to you? No. Nah, I don't think so. No. And why? Why for her? I feel like Nikki is just not going for that. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's Steph Curry's wife. You know what I'm That's like people, I guarantee you, Jada Pink is not getting hit on. Ah. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Nah, hell no. Nah. But she's like, she's gorgeous. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not about. Wait. <laughs> I know she's getting hit on. He's like, well, she's gorgeous. But Aisha's gorgeous too. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're both gorgeous. But Jada, okay. Jada Pinkett shows sex appeal. Aisha doesn't. But not only that, we don't really see Aisha like that. We've seen Jada Pinkett like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, sex scenes and some more shit. You, you look at people different when you see them different. You know what I'm saying? All thing we seen you do is have a baby, cook, and cheer for for Steph. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I don't know. I think she should just should have kept it at you know her man love her for who he uh, who she is, and that's it. I don't think she needed all that extra attention. Well, like, but it's like I think you, as as them, I think they also got to sit back and understand who they are and like who their partner is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas might be like. Nah, Steph Curry got like you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. Steph Curry got that. Like I'm not. I mean, I even like you yeah. know what I'm saying. Or Jada Pinkett, like nah, Will Smith got that. That's like you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like, like off the market. Out of respect, them. yeah, out of respect, they, like those are two niggas in our in our culture that got a lot of respect. Especially, yeah. Um, but I understand how she's. I was about to say especially Steph. But I also Will think Smith it's because at the end of the day, women are more aggressive in that like kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like women will like coming at the step. Yeah, yeah, like women will go for that nigga. But like not a lot of men will go for that, like that kind of like woman a lot of men go married. Yeah, a lot of women go for that. Mm-hmm. That Mary man. The dot. Like not a lot of men go for that dot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or the quick and easy. You yeah. know what I mean? Or the the girl that's showing her cheeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not I the girl I'm trying to get to know. A lot of women want to go for that man that's but married you know, and that's we, showing that husband potential. I think we're going too far. She said she felt like no one has, has looked at her. What? Not go for her. So, like, if you don't even notice somebody looking, 
Honestly, I don't know because even with me, you guys, I feel like no one has looked at me. But I haven't been looking for it either, so I wouldn't even really know. I don't think so. Queen. Maybe. How do you know? You be seeing it? Queen, drip or drip. When? When? Because we don't even go nowhere. I be seeing it. Yeah, you 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 I mean, you You're should not gonna let yourself notice it. go. But that's all I really like. That's the only opinion that matters to me. It could be a million niggas that be like, Ah, oh, queen, you beautiful, this and that. If he don't say it, I really don't care. Like, I really don't. I just like, feel like queen is very, she's always been, though, very submissive, you know, to a man. And, and when she's with one man, she's with one man. And... You know what I'm saying? He has her undivided attention, you know, and I don't think she like it no other way. It's just nice, thank you, but I'm gonna hear from him when I love Say like nine years passed, right? Mm -hmm. And a nigga has just looked at you and said nothing. How would you feel? Right. Um, depending on my relationship. No, but you're married and stuff. Like, say we married nine years from now, nigga hasn't said nothing to you, though, nothing, no other than has tried you. I don't think I would if I'm happy like with you, I don't I don't feel like that would be a bother to me. Now if you get to a point where you stop looking at me that way and nobody else is Oh man. I'm like, okay, I can let myself go. Like I, I would feel some kind of way, but if I'm happy with you, I'm too my mind is too focused well, on What have you been in let yourself go? Oh, I'm straight. I know I'm looking But there's no one's looking at you. Yeah, yeah, you just know. I just, I, I'll be happy with myself. Like, I don't have to have a million guys gawking at me. You know what I'm saying? My question is, do you need validation from someone else to feel as if you're attractive? You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's what it sounds like. Aisha wants validation. You know what I'm saying? Other than validation from her man is what she made it seem like. Like. I mean, he said I look good, but why he ain't say it? You know what I'm saying? Why he ain't say it? Like, why ain't get hollered at while we was out, Steph? Huh? Why? You know what I'm saying? But I told you you look good before we left the house. I told you you look good when we was in the, in the car. I told you we look good when we went to the spot. Like, why you tripping? You know what I'm saying? Gawking. Gawking. Like, because I've had that before. Gawking. Like, just can't stop staring. If I knew that I was together with myself, I, I guess I wouldn't, it wouldn't really bother me. But, th but then again, you never know because I'm not, I've, I haven't been in that position. So <coughs> you can't really So you don't think, me. right now, you don't think your DMs is lit right now? No, 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 no. Queen crazy. I know your DMs lit though. <laughs> I know your DMs lit. I don't think so. I bet you it's, uh, girls I know y'all don't look right at y'all DMs because they would know. Too. But it's all good. I don't be looking at my DMs though. Babe. You know I don't. You don't look at your DMs. You know I don't look at my DMs. You you haven't looked at your you haven't clicked on your request. No, I don't have requests or nothing. I I put them in everything. Why? I just it's like a lot of it is like girls. Just right. Stuff that I don't really. Girls. No. <laughs> it's girls, and you don't go on it because you feel like you probably in, you feel like you're in a relationship, so you don't need to. But I bet if you were single or if we were she totally up, made that what that was. <laughs> he like it's a lot of shit I'm not into. You know, girls is all up in there like, listen, if Queen don't suck you tonight, I will. <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? Women are bold. I'm not gonna say women are bolder than men, though. I mean, girl, I don't deal with men, so I don't know. But I don't feel like it's there's some bold women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They'll try you right in front of your bed. They don't care, you know. Mm. You would be going through those men requests, wouldn't too. you? Because you know, girls is in here, right? Me, on the other hand, I can't say that. I don't. I don't think there's no guys in my DMs. Y'all should do a DM video because I want to know I at this point. There's niggas in the DMs like this. Waiting for me to <laughs> waiting for me to do something. No. <laughs> There's niggas in the DMs currently waiting like this. I don't think so, babe. 
<laughs> but then again, I really gotta check my DMs either. But I just feel like all my DMs are like, Queen, I love you, Queen. Oh, God, you should curry shit. No, mm -hmm. babe, I just really feel like no no guys like have looked at me. That doesn't, I'm not saying I'm ugly or anything like that, but guys just don't look at me. They probably know that you, that nigga, and they can't, you are. You're that man. But this is what I want to say to Aisha. 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 I say Aisha, Aisha. This is what I want to say. If Steph Curry got you on lockdown, and a bunch of women be looking at him, da da da. What makes you think that no other man would be looking at you? That's Steph Curry. Right. That's Steph Curry that everyone wants. And it, it, that's the thing, like, do you want them to approach you? Would that make you feel better? Because after she put that out, I mean, the internet went crazy and they got mad disrespectful. Mad disrespectful. <laughs> like, like, we all have seen some posts where you be like, Damn, you just gonna talk about her wife like that? I mean, his wife like that? <laughs> you just gonna W C W her like that? But say all of that up under that post? Like, I swear to God, when you leave, bruh, come out at me. Like, niggas are very bold. I just feel like she should have stayed quiet on that one. It'll go away, though. And But he wants you. Give it some time. So, if he's Steph Curry, imagine all the belows. You know what I'm talking about? All the guys that's under him. I think every, everybody wants what you two have too. Right. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything everybody I feel wants. I feel the same way about like my son though. You wanted me, obviously. So I feel special. I feel like if you want me and you and you're like and everyone else wants you, what makes me think that another guy wouldn't? So does that make sense? Yeah. It makes perfect. I don't know. But you just, you just know girls in your DM. I know. I don't know. Maybe we should make a video and see. Maybe we should. Maybe My we should. DMs drop. This nigga. <laughs> you Kathy. They notifications got to be off mine. Let's off. check your DMs. I'm not happy. <laughs> so, are you scared for me to check your DMs? Not at all. Comment right now if you want to see that video. You know we want to see that video. What if his girls on there is like known? <laughs> That's gonna be funny. That's gonna be tea. Babe, I, I, I want like the tea. Like, a year ago. Mm -hmm. And even a year ago, I didn't go to my DMs, but like one day I did. Mm -hmm. And it was. Bit, like, I got a lot of celebrities in there. Really? Damn. Like girls. Oh, yeah, I know. You show me one. I'll show you a few. Mm -hmm. I know I'm Damn, y'all over there trying to send send Clarence a uh a Uber XL. <laughs> Listen, come to room 226 over at the Ritz Carlton. I'll take good care of you. <laughs> that is hilarious. I wanna know who they were. I, I wanna know who they were. Can y'all tell us who they were? Don't don't hide this from us. <laughs> I need to know. Yeah. Hey, guess what? I'm a celebrity now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, just know I clean up well. Yo, why is that your favorite line? <laughs> what? I clean up well. I do, babe. I clean up well. You do. She do. But you've been saying that like as a catchphrase. Just wait. Just wait on it. I swear, the times I be walking around just looking in your kind of with a mess. It's like that's. I only got two sides to me. That this side and the side where I'm all end up. It's no middle. I agree. Mm. Facts. Can I taste your passion fruit? You can taste whatever you want of mine. Here. Why couldn't right. you just pass it? <laughs> you should have got it, babe. Tell my son you wanted his passion. Taste that. Both of them juices look good as shit. Especially his. There's a strawberry black in the premises. Strawberry, what? Fire. Mine's better. I feel like his is better. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hold man. on, babe. You gonna drink it all. He ain't even taste it. That's why I asked you, do you want it? Did you like the food? Yeah, yeah it's good. It's good. I'm cool. getting a little we full. Keep talking. I'm getting a little full. It's good, though. It was like. This is way better than your drink. 
That rice look like trash, but it's different. the rest of it look good. It's like it's a different kind of meal. And beans like, look like, like everything. What's like mixed in this passion fruit? It must be passion like, fruit is a fruit, bitch. I thought passion fruit was a bunch of fruits together and made passion. <laughs> nah, it's okay, because I thought... I really thought that it was going to be like a fruit salad. It's okay. <laughs> I really did. I didn't passion know it was a, fruit. a fruit called passion fruit either. Okay, I didn't know it was a fruit called passion fruit either. I think he lying. Passion fruit is a fruit. You guys, the camera's about to cut off. It's got to be. Y'all been doing right now. Yep. When we edit, it's probably going to be way less than that. But that was our little. Oh, the camera died right there. And as you guys like this video. I feel like my camera about to die too, so I'm going to head in this video. For more videos like this, please get this video a thumbs up. I'm going to have the same jersey on for like the next 20 videos. I love y'all. I'm going to be in Miami in a couple of days. Yeah, if you see me out there, give me a hug and shit. That me up here. Yeah. Peace out. <laughs> Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo, I cut the logo, I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three, pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then, I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.